We are all afraid of snakes, because we know the venom of some snakes is potent enough to kill us. So, on spotting a snake, even if it's a non-venomous snake, we will get scared. But, not just snakes, there are many poisonous animals you are not familiar with. Check out this list of the most poisonous animals in the world. Number 10. Pufferfish Pufferfish is the second most poisonous vertebrate in the world. They inhabit all tropical seas in the world. Their venom is potent enough to kill humans. The liver, kidneys, and spikes of a pufferfish contain a dangerous nerve toxin called tetrodotoxin. This venom of putterfish is 12 o times more dangerous than cyanide. To be precise the venom of a single pufferfish could kill up to 30 adult men. Scientists estimated that even the larvae of pufferfish contain small amounts of poison. Amazingly, in Japanese like to have the meat of pufferfish. The name of the dish is fugu. Number 9. Poison Dart Frog The poison dart frog is the most poisonous vertebrate in the world. They inhabit in rainforests of Central and South America. There are 100 different types of poison dart frogs are in the world. They vary by color and pattern. Golden poison dart frogs are the most dangerous in the family. One golden poison dart frog contains enough venom to kill up to 10 adult men. These frogs gain their potent venom by eating a special type of arthropod insect. Number 8. Brazilian Wandering Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider holds the Guinness Book of World Records for being the most venomous spider in the world. Their bite could cause death even to humans. Luckily the antidote for Brazilian Wandering Spider venom is available. These spiders live in crowded places in Brazil and Amazon forest. Unlike other spiders the Brazilian Wandering Spider won't use the web to find food. Brazilian Wandering Spiders walk around the jungle floors in search of food. They mainly feed on insects and other spiders. The bite from Brazilian wandering spiders causes intense pain loss of muscle control and inflammation. Immediate medical attention is a must for human victims. Number 7. Inland Tapan The venom of an inland tapan is 200 times more dangerous than a common cobra. They were found across central Australia. A single bite from inland tapan has enough venom to kill up to 100 adult humans. The inland tapans are very shy in nature and inhabit dunes and rocks. There is no recorded fatal attack on humans by inland tapans. It is because inland tapans are more likely to avoid contact with humans. Number 6. Deathstalker Scorpion Deathstalker scorpions possess the deadliest venom than any other species of scorpion. These aggressive scorpions inhabit the deserts and scrublands across the Middle East and North Africa. The neurotoxin venom present in deathstalker scorpions can be deadly even to humans. The bite from a deathstalker scorpion is extremely painful and could cause heart issues. Once bitten, you need to seek medical attention as soon as possible. Delay for proper treatment could cause severe issues and even death. Number 5. Stonefish The extremely dangerous stonefishes are found in tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. They lurk in mud or sand on ocean floors. It makes it very hard to find them. This deadly species contains 13 sharp poisonous dorsal spines. They sting very quickly. It causes extreme pain, swelling, muscle weakness and temporary paralysis. Without proper treatment there is a high chance of death. Number 4. Marbled Cone Snail the marble cone snail is a special species of the canoes genus family. They are found mainly in the Indian Ocean. One drop of venom from a marble cone snail has enough power to kill up to 20 adult humans. They mainly use their deadly venom to catch the prey. Unfortunately, there is no antivenom for the bite of marble cone snail. The sting from marble cone snails normally occurs when the snorkelers and swimmers handle them carelessly. The venom can cause loss of coordination, difficulty in breathing, heart failure and double vision. The serious cases even lead to coma or death. Number 3. Blue Ringed Octopus The Blue Ringed Octopus is the smallest member of the octopus family. The measures are only 20 centimeters in diameter. The Blue Ringed Octopuses are extremely dangerous. They can produce two types of venom through their saliva. The first type is used to catch the prey. The second type of venom is called tetrodotoxin which can be deadly even to humans. Only 25 grams of venom of the blue ringed octopus is enough to paralyze 10 adult humans. Unlike other poisonous animals the bite of a blue ringed octopus is not painful, but in a few minutes after the bite, the victim would experience numbness, vomiting, swallowing, difficulty in breathing and nausea. It also leads to death if not treated as soon as possible.
Number 2. King Cobra King Cobra is the longest poisonous snake in the world. They inhabit the highland forests of Asia. An adult King Cobra can be 18 feet in length. They inject a high amount of neurotoxin on a single bite. It is powerful enough to kill an African elephant within hours. Unlike other snakes, King Cobras inject five times more venom on a single bite. That amount of venom can kill up to 20 grown men. This lengthy snake also can stand up to a maximum height of 6 feet. Normally, King Cobras try to avoid the presence of humans, but they become very aggressive if irritated. The long King Cobras can bite from long distances. The bite from King Cobras is extremely painful and the venom would spread rapidly, so immediate medical attention is very necessary. Number 1. Box Jellyfish The box jellyfish is the most venomous creature known to mankind. They inhabit an Indo-Pacific region. There have been hundreds of reported fatal attacks on humans by box jellyfishes every year. The cube-shaped jellyfishes have 15 tentacles on each side of their body. These tentacles can reach up to 10 feet in length. These tentacles also contain more than 5,000 stinging cells. The venom of box jellyfishes will affect the nervous system and the heart. The human victims are likely to die before reaching the shore. 